What's up, everyone? I'm the Devastating Just Cause, and this is DJC Game Studios. Welcome to the show, and yes, it's about time I open this bad boy up, and that is the Evercade Intellivision Collection 2. I finally got it. It arrived when I was uh, on vacation. Oh my god, do they use like super plastic? There it is. Couldn't even get a, couldn't even get a finger in there. Anyways, there it goes. Plastic is ripped off. We open it up. Oh, this is too cool, man. Wow. I did not expect this. So, of course, you have a full-color manual talking about all the games, which is pretty sweet. But look at this. Tower of Doom overlays. And a cloudy mountain overlay. Oh, it's basically telling you what you use, what buttons to press, I'm guessing, for the Evercade. So, that's crazy. So, I'm guessing this is really showing you... Well, we're going to learn because we're going to play some of these games, too. So let's get at it. Let's play some Intellivision Collection 2 on the Evercade. All right, everyone. Me and my uh, gross eye. Still uh, recovering from that scratch on my cornea. That's why I've been wearing the weird red glasses and stuff like that. Uh, but here, I, to play this, I'm going to either either watch. I think I might watch the monitor up here or here. Or I might watch it through. It doesn't matter. Let's just get into it. Here it is, the Intellivision Collection 2, and we're going to start off with Auto Racing. Now, the only thing I didn't like about this is they don't let you know how to start this. You literally have to read this in the manual. So check this out. This is what I don't like about this. They could have just mapped buttons or did something, but apparently they're using an emulator that doesn't allow for that. So you got to pull up the little controller pad, which is, I, I can't even imagine what it is for other ones. So select course. So you got to pull up the pad, one, enter, select car, we went the red one, enter. And then you're like, okay, start, 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 nothing will start, nothing will start. That's because then you have to hit select, then hit the shoulder button, then hit enter, and then it starts the game. Unbelievable. But anyways... And then right there, it, the D-pad did not even respond. Still, I'm pressing the D-pad. Nothing responding. Absolutely nothing. So that's already cost me points. So what I'm going to have to do is hit select again. Hold on. And now it recognizes the D-pad. So you have to hit select again to switch your controller back to the, even though it's a solo, you can only play one player on this, unless apparently you're on the VS, which I did order, because Prime Days had a thing for $69. All right, let me play how I'm supposed to. So really don't like the way they set it up as far as the controls where they could have just, I don't know, man. I I don't know how they could really do in television games correctly without having the actual disc and, and number pad. You know, it's just a little harder. Um, and I'm using the handheld, so I, the, obviously the VS is probably way better than the handheld, at least I'm about to find out if it is. If not, I'm about to use my own controllers. Whoa, it just like spun like, see that's another thing, is I want the, the disc would have been acted more like a steering wheel, and that's kind of what I miss about this game. Let's see if I can do one lap with this D-pad. Now, I'm not trying to knock uh, Evercade. I like what they're doing. Um, but I, I got a, like I said, I got a VS uh, coming, coming. so it's uh, it, hopefully that's going to solve this problem with this handheld that I do not like. I like what they're doing, I just not, not the handheld part of it. I like the retro stuff on collectible cartridges that you can play that'll hold up. But a lot of times with these Intellivision ones, it's like you, you, they use these emulators and, and without having that control pad. 
So around this curve, I'm going to have to get a slight break. There it is. Forgot how many laps I got to do, but I'm not going to do, like, I think it's five laps. You don't, guys don't want to see me do five laps. But I'm fairly good at auto racing. Um, it's one I had as a kid. I had to learn real quick. But like I said, when like right here, I sort of did it. Um, it, you give a spin to that disc and it's like it's like a spin on the steering wheel so like if I were to go like that so you can kind of bank those turns and you don't even have to use the brakes most of the time so like whoops so that went a little too far but like on this turn here I just don't want to spin all the way around see and it, it doesn't let me just do it rant yeah whatever but anyways that's that's auto racing one of my it, it is a, it is a very good game but let's uh, let's go to the next one. It play it plays good. I'm gonna say it's just confusing to start the game. I bet people had problems figuring out. You have to switch the controller to the left, then hit enter on the left, and then when the game starts, you gotta pause and hit select, and then you gotta to, to, to make the steering control work. It's just it's a little confusing. Whoops. So next is Cloudy Mountain. This is another one. Full control pad use. So I don't know how this is going to play. So let's find out, I guess. If they call it Adventure. Adventure, apparently. They're now it's an Atari game, of course. I don't know why it isn't just called Cloudy Mountain. That's really weird. It's called Adventure, yet it says Cloudy Mountain on the back here. Uh, okay, so... I'm not moving. Oh. Oh, you use the buttons to move and not the disc. Okay. Okay. I don't know what to do. So I gotta pull up this and remember what these things do. Wow, I got in there. Okay. But how do I grab something then? So my arrow, okay, they did, at least they did good using the arrows with the buttons. Shoot, you just took my arrows. Or you almost was about to. Shoot. And I'm out of arrows because the spider took them. That means there's like a something close. It was footprints or rats or something. Oh, that's because the rat's in that other room. Now the blob, avoid them at all costs. Just like the song. But I want to know if I find a quiver of arrows, how to pick things up. That's the... Is that when I have to look at those, like those overlays they kind of gave... Which is weird. I, I, I don't get it. So I gotta pull out the reference card instead of just changing the buttons. They should. I wish they would have done that. No, this is completely. This is. This literally is just a card describing what you can pick up, and it's not even an overlay or pertains to the original overlay. So I think what I'm gonna do, as an Intellivision fan, I do have some overlays. All right, so they're packed away. So I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do with this, but all right. So I want to pick this up. So do I have to hit enter? So I have to go over it, pull up the number pad. No. Select. Oh, select picks it up. Okay, hey, I'm good with that. All right, so I like how they implemented that. Good job. All right, so select is my pickup, and then, okay, so I should be okay. So how do I count my arrows, though? Do I still have to do... So I have to pull up, to count my arrows, i got to pull up the number pad and hit zero, and it tells me... 
So I have four. I have four arrows, which is that counting sound. Kind of like when a horse stomps its feet. Once again, using the Evercade original handheld. Uh, whoa. Oh, he's going to take all my arrows. Was I running and shooting at the same time? If that's the case, that's pretty cool. There's the exit, but I need to get... Do I need to get the axe or something out of this one? I can't remember. Yeah, I can run and gun, so it's like using two controllers in one. Okay, so I kind of dig that. So how can they pull off mapping all those buttons to these controllers, but they can't pull off... Um, it's a simple start on auto racing. <laughs> ah! Ooh. Got me down there. So where's the axe? Well, anyways, I'm not going to play this forever, but you get the idea. It's Cloudy Mountain. Pretty awesome game. Um, you know, you got to get the axe, cut through the forest, the boat to cross the river, um, unlock the gate with the key, I believe, something like that. Anyways, it's been a while since I played it, and then the blobs are invincible, so do not try to shoot them. You'll just waste your arrows, and then they'll just do that to you. All right, so let's quit this and go on to the next game, so this video isn't a million uh, minutes long. Uh, Hover Force, an INTV game, a later in the console's life. I never owned this. I know of it. Cool cool intro screen. I like that. Let's uh, check out Hover Force. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Okay, this is another thing where you're going to have to... Oh! I don't know how I just highlighted that. Oh, maybe one is cadet, and I have to hit enter? Okay. I'm running in there. Running man says, A-OK. -okay. Let's do it. Why am I in such a shadow here? Move this light so I can see my awful eye. Let's blow up the, let's blow up the bridge. Oh, helicopters. Oh, you got me. So you're basically blowing up helicopters. Oh, it hit me, so was, I'm kind of a little... It threw my aim off. Yep. Oh, come on. Come on. See, that's like a downward view on a helicopter. Oh, it, it destroyed my aim when they hit me that f the first time. It hit me right on the crosshairs. Anyways, it's, it's shooting helicopters. Uh, we'll leave it at that. I don't think it was a strong title to put on, but that's all right. Um, now, motocross. Here we go. One through three. So once again, we're going to use this. Uh, let's do one. Enter. Number of laps. We'll just do one. Enter. Oh. W one player. Directional or left and right? Now we'll do directional. Reverse. Sure. No, I, I just want to go forward. Oh, I hit yes. <laughs> Trying to figure out like which way. Whoa! I 
I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, this is terrible. I'm doing tor horrible. I think I shouldn't have picked directional. <laughs> oh, this is awful and embarrassing. See, I don't have the disc, and it's hard to do, like, a circle with this D-pad. Yeah, I jumped a ramp. Oh, man, I can't even pull off a lap. Was awful. Jeez. All right, this is this is what it is. I'm I'm not a fan of motocross, but some people are. Okay, Mountain Madness Super Pro Skiing. Here we go. A good skiing game. Select number of skiers. It's just going to be one. And enter. Downhill slalom. No flags. We'll do downhill. Enter. Uh, we'll just do course one. You know what? No, we'll do course. Let's do course seven. Ooh, helicopter. One of the. Oh, you can design your own too. Select the slope for the course. Let's do slope eight. I don't know. Oh, that looks harsh. All right. How do I start? Let's let's start. Awesome. So norm oh. Shoot. That was terrible. <laughs> ah, shoot. That's how this is, I picked a hard one. Oh. <laughs> and I'm half blind right now, too, so we'll use that as an excuse. Oh, knock, knocking flags down. Oh, right into the tree. <laughs> Not doing, oh, too bad until this. Oh, it was awful. Whoa. Oh, that was terrible. Wow. Who could have been way better. <laughs> Miss Gate, 6 out of 25. Well... Anyways, there's skiing. I, that's that's a good one to be on here. I'm glad that one's on here. Super pro skiing. Uh, Reversi. Uh, I'll pop this on, but another one I don't understand why this was put on. I understand board size. Uh, I guess that's the board size. Skill level. I don't know then. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. And that's Reversi. Some sort of a fellow checkers style game. All right, let's move on to Ch Sh Sharp Shot. This is a, basically you want to get all the aliens. This is better as a two-player, apparently. <laughs> no one will be using the two-player. Uh... Oh, what the heck? Oh, am I just like selecting through stuff at this point? And you 
can't move the cursor. Whoa. Why does it keep doing that? Oh, I got a, I got, I got a, a touchdown right there. So basically, you're throwing a pass for a touchdown. Oh, and sometimes it can be intercepted. This is better with two players. Apparently, I don't have a two-player, so it's not going to work out that way. So the arrow shooting, the space shooting, and the other stuff. Uh, this handheld is not a way to do this. So it's, and I don't know. It kept mess the menu kept messing up. Uh, so here we go. Stadium mud buggies. I believe this was originally going to be an NES game, and then they ended up making it work for. For this, anyways, number of players. We're just doing one. Well, let me do one. Enter. No, no, no. One. I, did, I said one. Yeah. Number of. I just said one. And enter. Enter. Oh, start event. Six. Get ready to roll. I'm ready. Let's roll it. Yeah. It's like I'm on a tilt-a-whirl. Just spinning around. Going through the mud. So it's like inverted controls. Oh, you got. I don't know which way is forward or back. Once again, without a disc, it's weird because it's like a four-way D-pad. I mean, it'll sort of work eight ways, but it's so touchy. And to think these, this is went for a couple thousand dollars because it's such a rare game. All right, that's all I can take of Stadium Mud Buggies. Uh, okay, now here's one. I absolutely love, uh, let's do it, and that's Star Strike. Okay. Give me the signal. Nice, there's one target. This is actually on our Astro Smash Challenge this week. Ooh, hurt my guns. Nice, that's number two. Ouch. That's number three. I might win this game quickly. They killed me. Well, the first three won't work. Oh, they just used number four. <laughs> well, there it is. I've I've blown up the earth. I'm so sorry, folks. Star Strike, great game. Uh, we'll get back to that. Uh, Super Pro Decathlon. I actually have this on one on physical, um, and I've been meaning to do kind of a playthrough on this. It's like a track and field, so. Oh, number put, yeah, just did that. One, enter. I'm an amateur. <gasps> Excuse me. 
Here we go. Tracking and fielding. 100 meter dash. I remember how I... Oh, you gotta do it like... Yeah, like that. It's kind of, you kind of like do this. Whew. All right, let's do the next one. Oh, false start. Or was that the 10th frame of bowling where I got a spare? How do I do false? Oh. Well, that's Super Pro Decathlon. There's a lot of many events. Now we get into Tower of Doom. Great game. Uh, kind of RPG, dungeon crawler. Similar, it was almost, to me, this was like the upgrade of the, of the, uh, yeah, we'll do the tower. No. Yeah, sure. We'll, well, I'm 32 levels deep all of a sudden. Wheel to view. Yeah, there is no wheel, unfortunately. Side key to select. Welcome to the Tower of Doom. So do I have... I don't know how to grab stuff. I have to read the instructions. This is going to be weird without... Without the number pad, it's going to be really weird. As I'm wondering, do I even have a sword right now? So if I were to fight this, oh, I'd... Well, now I got a sword. All right, so basically, yeah, you're building a map kind of the same way you would in Cloudy Mountain. Just the graphics are updated. It's on a little bit of a smaller scale. To, and then you, when you fight something, it's up close and personal. It kind of, um, they have like when I just killed the rat there. Eventually, there's skeletons and stuff. I can't remember if I want to pick stuff up. I, I just don't remember a lot of stuff. I know there's keys. It's been... It's, oh! I slayed him. I slayed the monster! Already went this way. Ha 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 ha! I know that's the transporter, but what is up here? Ah! What's up in here? Different craziness? Oh, okay. <laughs> nice empty room. I think that charges something. It's hard to get away around it. Oh, it's not letting me go around. Anyways. So this is Tower of Doom. Um, for some reason, my D-pad isn't working. There it goes. It's like, what the heck is happening? Well, you sl get slain, rat. Then you go to the next level. No, I want I need that. I don't know how to get to the I don't understand. Oh, is it down? Do I use the down arrow? There it is. Then that's how you get to the next level. Anyways, that's Tower of Doom. <clears throat> um it's 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 kind of in depth. And then, of course, I don't know why this is on here, but it's Vectron, the game that nobody knows. Enter number of players. One. Can't wait to play me some Vectron. Totally understand what I'm doing.
totally just doing stuff. Pressing stuff on the keypad. Pressing numbers, shooting weird things. Vectron. Oh, they're destroying my bases. I don't know how to make other ones. Okay. I don't know how to create another base. I'm supposed to fill the whole thing with these little yellow bases before they kill them. And they've, they've destroyed almost everything I have. I don't understand. Anyways, there it is. <laughs> Television Collection 2. I'm liking the Tower of Doom, Star Strike, Mountain Madness Skeen. Uh, what else was on here? Uh, cloudy, yeah, cloudy Mountain Auto Racing. Uh, Mountain Madness. Star Strike, Super Pro Decathlon, Tower of Doom. Uh, Stadium Mud Buggies, Motocross, Vectron, Reversi. I, I, I can't get into those. I don't understand. Hover Force, I just need to play because I'm not too sure. Sharp Shot, you need two people to play that. So uh, it, it, it's just... There's a lot I think they could have put on here. Like Bowling would have been my, my, my ultimate choice on that. But all in all, there's a lot of games on the collection that are good. So there's a good... There's a good, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's about six or seven that are good out of the 12. Um, I just think, I think what, what I would have liked to see in the next one would be bowling, um, um, super, chip shot, super pro golf, uh, even the PGA golf, or just call it golf. Um, I'm trying to think. Armor Battle would be pretty cool. Uh, poker and Blackjack would be pretty cool. You know, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I don't understand Vect why Vectron or, or any type of chess or checkers or reversey would be on there. But that's just me. Back to you, other Chuck, wearing your jacket and your glasses and not showing your gross eye that's scratched to smithereens. Well, there it is, the Evercade Television Collection 2. Can you believe that? Um, I don't understand what these cards are. I thought they were going to be like helpful overlays. They're not. They're just cards. Kind of cool little collector's cards, but they don't. It, I don't understand. Um, the selection, I think, could have been a little bit better, but 7 out of 12 games uh, is not too bad. Um, I'm sure some other people may love... In, in, in the other games. I, I really think that disc is crucial in a lot of those, uh, like motocross and, and, and mud buggies and stuff like that. Um, even in auto racing, I like the disc way better uh, for, for doing that. Um, the D-pad's okay. Um, I'll give it that. It played fairly okay. Um, I just I just want to see bowling and golf um, and maybe some other games, uh, like, the, like poker and blackjack, some of those for the next collection. Bowling, to me, is, is my ultimate favorite. To be able to play bowling on the vs to where i can take it upstairs and you know and play with a family like the old school bowling and just have a regular you know controller that's i mean the other thing about the bowling though is i want the disc always has you had the 16 positions of curve on the disc so how are you going to pull that off doing absolute the correct curve when you have a d-pad that might be only four to eight way pretty much i so i'm just not sure man that's why I wish someone would come out with a USB uh, in television controller to play on stuff like the PC and the VS. Anyways, let me know what you think. That's it. Um, I'm waiting for collection three. I got another one uh, that just came in the mail, another uh, cartridge, which <laughs> we're going to find out what that is soon. Anyways, please like, please subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. For some more Evercade, Sega Genesis, Turbo Graphics, and Television, Atari, Xbox, PlayStation, you name it, we're talking games. We'll see you in the next one. Got the new 
Got the new one in the mail. Let's see which one this is. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Evercade cart, new one. Mega Cat Studios Part 2. 